everyone! Today we're going to be making wheat starch paste, which you can see here in the speaker. Um, this is an industry standard adhesive that we use here at Paradise for not only repairing artworks um, on the conservation side, but also for hinging the artworks, actually attaching them to the mat boards in your frame. This is only the starch from wheat that is very refined and cooks up really well and is uh, has very excellent aging properties. This won't discolor over time, like other synthetic adhesives you might think of, like glue or rubber-based adhesives. Um, it is fully reversible with only water, even hundreds of years after it's applied. So this makes it an excellent and very safe uh, adhesive for contact with your artworks, both in terms of conservation and hinging and I'll show you now how to cook it properly. So we're using a uh, borosilicate glass beaker here in the lab because it can withstand heat and it's also great for measuring. I like using a one to four ratio. That's one part paste to four parts water. And we use a distilled water here. This is something that you can get at a drugstore or grocery store. What we're looking for is removing the uh, metallic ions that make the water uh, from your faucet hard. Um, that can cause discoloration and oxidation of the paper over the long term if it's present. So I'm gonna be using this line co paste here and measuring out my one part. Um, like I said before, paste is always diluted. We never use it full strength. So you can actually cook a very small amount of it and have it go a long way. So here's my one part of paste. Two parts. And another two parts. Now I'm just stirring everything to make sure that the starch doesn't have any clumps and that it's nicely in solution here. Um, I'm using a glass stirring rod which is pretty standard lab equipment. Anything you use, you wanna make sure it's free from food. Uh, if you know you're gonna be doing this a lot at home, I recommend getting a set of utensils that are just dedicated for wheat starch paste making, just so you don't get food particles like oils or bacteria um, from that food into your finished wheat starch paste that will then go in contact with your artwork. So this is all stirred up now. I like to let it sit for a while. That just gives the starch a um, chance to start absorbing the water before we cook it. At least shoot for about a half an hour to an hour if you can. If you want to leave it out overnight, that's even better. All right, so let's go to the microwave. 